Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to get straight into it. So reason one why Halo Infinite's Forge will save Halo Infinite is the lighting build system. And that's basically, it builds light uh, when you place objects. So like barrels, walls, uh, ceilings, floors, all this unnatural stuff that you put in the world. Uh, the lighting can't really build itself perfectly for that. So you press the lighting build uh, button and it builds lighting that looks real. And um, it looks dev made because that's what Unreal Engine uses, that's what 343 uses in their engine, that's what Unity uses. And now we can use that system for lighting in Halo Infinite's Forge, which is just insane. So, anyone complaining about lighting in my comments, I've never used this system, so don't worry. All this lighting you see on screen now is just the engine or just Forge itself. That's not built, um, so I've not used the build lighting system, but it is amazing because someone I know has used it and it looks insane. Um, but yeah, reason two is um, the community browser or server browser. Um, it has things in place on Halo Infinite's Forge already, like the dev system. Why would they release a dev system without a community system? It makes no sense at all. Um, so expect a community and the server browser, or well, the same thing, a server browser. Okay, just expect it because it probably will come out. If it doesn't, there's going to be bloody riots. I tell you now. But yeah, reason three is the node system, and that basically allows you to make anything you want, from games like Rocket League to Among Us to Fall Guys. You can make all that in Halo uh, Infinite's Forge, which is just crazy. One of my uh, team members has made a opening mystery box. That's the best one that anyone's built in Halo Infinite's Forge at the moment. So make sure to go check it out. It's on my channel. It's like two videos ago, so you should see it. It's got the title mystery box, so. Uh, yeah, go watch it. It's the best one on the uh, internet right now. And uh, yeah, that's basically the video, guys. Uh, node system, lighting system, and the server browser. All three things that I, I think the server browser will come. Like, I'm not saying it will because it's not 100%, but I do believe it will. Just because of the dev system, it doesn't make sense to have a dev system without a community system. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the video. If I missed any... Uh, anything you wanted to know and I didn't go over that make sure to drop a comment because I will be replying to every single one But that's it from me today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video smash a like subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace